So this is where we freeze the eggs and sperm and embryos. So we freeze them, we plummet them to minus 195 wow. degrees and they're snap frozen in time and they're snap frozen in the liquid nitrogen. Amazing. Dr Lynn Burmeister's work in IVF has helped bring more than 10,000 babies into the world and she wants that number to increase. But vaping is leaving its mark. So, Dr Lynn, do you think a lot of people would be surprised to hear about the link between IVF and vaping? Yes, so it's not really well researched at the moment, but we know vaping is very bad for our lungs, bad for our kidneys, bad for our uh, reproductive system as well. We know that vaping contains chemicals that you don't see on the packet. So, for instance, vaping contains formaldehyde, uh, chlorine, weed poisoning substances. So it's filled with a lot of chemicals that can be hormone disruptors. And those hormone disruptors can affect our egg quality and our sperm quality and also affect our future reproduction. What about sperm production? So we know that it probably won't affect the number of sperm, but it will affect the quality of the sperm that's coming out. So it will affect the morphology, which is the shape of the sperm. It will also probably affect the motility of the sperm, so how fast the sperm is swimming because of these substances substances in the, the vaping products. So we know that these substances are going to definitely play a role in infertility in the future. Are you surprised of the number of women that are coming into your clinic and they're vaping? Yes, yeah, so I always ask, do you smoke or vape? And they're not smoking anymore, they're vaping instead because they think vaping like, I'm just having a strawberry vape, that should be fine. It's actually not fine and I told them what's in the um, vapes and they're quite horrified to know that they've been vaping in chlorine or even formaldehyde and also some of them even contain arsenic as well. So we can see here this is a good quality embryo. Yeah. But if a person was a vapor, what would you be able to see on the screen? Well, we may see the embryo slower than normal and it may not hatch out of its shell when we expect it to hatch out. We also might see a lot of fragments in the embryo and a lot of abnormal black spots throughout the embryo. And is partly that because of the chemicals that are in yeah, vaping? Yeah, so the chemicals in vaping and also smoking affects the ultimate outcome of that embryo and also can affect the baby later on in life. What's your message to women who are trying to get pregnant that are still vaping? So if you're trying to get pregnant, we really need you to stop vaping. It's going to have harmful effects on your eggs and we know that a poor egg will create a poor embryo quality and will reduce your fertility chances. And we even see with IVF, if someone is smoking or vaping, the embryo quality is usually uh, of poor grading. And my particular interest in men with sexual dysfunction, there's increasing evidence that it's leading to the development of erectile dysfunction, that is the inability to get a good erection or keep a good erection. Dr Christopher Love has made a significant difference to the quality of life for thousands of men with sexual health and fertility problems. But more recently, he's seeing the fallout from vaping and male infertility. There's all these chemicals that are poorly understood. I mean, vapes have got industrial solvents in them. They've got chemicals that are in pesticides, chemicals that are in drain cleaners. You know, they're actually in the vape smoke, let alone, let alone nicotine. So even a single cigarette, a single vape will have an immediate effect on blood flow to the penis. You get a, a production of adrenaline in the body and adrenaline causes small blood vessels to close down. And that's exactly the opposite of what you want if you want a good erection, because erections are about blood vessels in the penis opening up. So there's the immediate effect of what nicotine does and the long-term effect. You're actually getting more nicotine in a vape than in a cigarette, so the effect will be magnified. And then you're having young people, you know, mid-teens, if not young teens, taking it up. But increasingly, both myself and other urologists in this area are seeing younger men with erection problems. And whilst you can't blame it all on vaping, it is definitely a factor. And it needs, it needs to be made, uh, made public, because I don't think people realise.